this is a collaborative project and it needs to be a collaborative project because we each bring things to the project that we couldn't do on our own. At SV2G, we're an arts and heritage organisation working with African Caribbean communities that predominantly work within the arts sector and the heritage, looking at history projects, learning about our heritage and culture. In the 1790s, over two and a half thousand prisoners of war from the Caribbean were held at Portchester Castle on the south coast. Some of those, maybe three or four hundred, were from St Vincent. We set up a project to look together so that we could understand why those prisoners of war ended up in Britain and to think a little bit more about the history of St Vincent and the Grenadines during that Revolutionary War period. So the plan is that we produce an exhibition. The project has been to produce a creative film that really looks at how a Caribbean heritage could be a very uh, strong place to start thinking about climate justice and racial justice together. I brought my research, I think, like a bunch, even like a baby. I told Paulette, look, this is my baby. Can you do something for me? Uh, because I knew she would, uh, expertise and what the serendipity does, would be a place to start to have people watch the film and start a dialogue. What we were able to bring to the table was a, a, a perspective, a focus that um, speaks to the African and African Caribbean diaspora, um, both um, locally, nationally and internationally. Also, we've got um, connections um, at a local level in terms of creativity and arts and that opportunity to give a voice to a new piece of work um, so that it uh, resonated in the community that it's for, but beyond that as well. SV2G has been very fortunate to work with the University of Warwickshire, in particular Professor Asprey, on this co-production research where we have been able to discover and learn a lot about our ancestors and the history of St Vincent and the Grenadines in Britain in the 1700s. I and my research team bring some of the academic research and the experience of working in archives and SV2G bring authentic voices for whom these untold stories really matter. What Warwick Institute of Engagement has given us it is the resourcing. The resourcing to allow us to actually dig deep when it comes to the marketing and the finding that the right audience there in terms of looking at what we could do. And also in terms of the hospitality that we could put surrounding the event. So it drew people in. So people became inside the space, had the conversation, wanted to come to the next event. Mm -hmm. So it allowed us to do a, a more in intimate set of marketing to bring people in, into the organisation. Engagement was at the heart of what we were able to do because of the extra resourcing. The Warwick Institute of Engagement has been vital for us as a community organisation to be able to have that opportunity to link with academia on our level and to understand and for us to learn about our history. For me, the really exciting part of the project is taking people who've never been to the National Archives into that space to look at material from the 18th century, for them to see that that's part of their own history and that we can bring out untold stories or forgotten stories in a way that connects the past with the present. I really enjoyed being able to look through the archives and find out more about the context of everything I'll be translating, which really helped improve my historical knowledge. Realising the motivations and the context behind documents in the archives and the difference between an archive and a library, that was really useful for me. After coming here and kind of looking at the archives, it's like 
no matter how many books you read, no matter like how much like arguments you read of it, nothing compares to actually being able to see things that kind of not only just shape those arguments, but are like primary reflections of what happened in people's lives. Just listening to the members, recalling that information and how grateful they were to be able to have that knowledge and share that with their families and friends. And that to me is key. And it was exciting to just listen to them. So thank you.